Hey you guys, welcome back to yet another video here. Looks like I have some sort of, I don't even know, is that like a foundation line? Not really sure what that is. So in my last video, which was all about organization, at the end of the video I actually responded to some comments. So I am going to be doing that again today. I'm just going to be going to my last video, seeing what you guys said, and then responding here, slash giving people shout outs. So if you want your comment to be featured in the next video, then just leave a comment down below. And perhaps you might see your avatar face and your words on this YouTube screen. So today's video, I thought that it would be a fun idea to do DIY chocolate bars, especially because Valentine's Day is coming up and I didn't even like think to kind of like do this in a Valentine's Day frame, but it totally makes sense because chocolate bars are very popular around Valentine's Day. So I thought that it would be fun to try to recreate those famous chocolate bars around the convenience store shelves. So the recipes that I'm going to be using for this video will be linked down below. Also today's video is a collab with Emma and she's going to be doing a what I ate today video. And she's from Sweden which is pretty cool. She makes DIYs, beauty videos, that sort of thing. So here's a clip from her. Hi everyone, so I'm Emma and on my channel I will be doing a what I eat in a day as a vegan. So yeah, if you're interested in watching a video like that, there will be a link to that and also to my channel down below. Yeah, bye! on my channel. Alright you guys, let's do this. Alright, so the first recipe we're going to be tackling are Kit Kat bars, you guys. Now these are only two ingredients, you're just going to need some vanilla wafers and all you're going to have to do is melt some chocolate and then dump those wafers in there. I have to say the brand that I got was from the dollar store and I would say they're probably a little bit too vanilla-y. So just, I would suggest vanilla wafers, just not like intense <laughs> vanilla wafers, but the texture is literally the same as Kit Kat, guys. It's the same. So just put them in the fridge for a few minutes to set, and there you go. All right, and now onto my favorite recipe out of the three, we are going to be making some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Guys, look how pretty these are. They look so good. I will have all the measurements linked down below, but you're just going to be melting some chocolate chips with some coconut oil. And then in a separate bowl, you're just going to be combining peanut butter and coconut oil. I use natural peanut butter, because it's awesome. So I got this baking tin and these like baking cupcake inserts at the dollar store. So these are gonna make like some smaller peanut butter cups. So you're just gonna add in one layer of that melted chocolate. And you're just gonna be putting that in the freezer for just like two minutes so they can harden. And then just add your peanut butter mixture about maybe like a third of the way and then just top that off with some more chocolate. Woohoo, guys, these are honestly amazing. When I took a bite of these, I was like, oh my God, it tastes literally like the same thing. So whoever you make this for, they're gonna be super impressed. I forgot to say, you just have to uh, let them freeze in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And once you take off the wrapping, this is what they look like. Guys, it's the same thing and they taste amazing. All right, so now we're just going to be making some Twix bars and what you'll need are some shortbread cookies. I got mine at the dollar store. I'm just putting it on some parchment paper. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna need some caramel, so I just unwrap them all and put them in a bowl. And then you're gonna have to microwave them in two intervals of 30 minutes. And then once the caramel is cooled down, you can put it on top of your shortbread. Unfortunately, I kind of let mine set for too long, so it was already hardened, so I kind of did my best to put on the shortbread. But then the next step is to just melt some more chocolate. Again, I used coconut oil, even though it didn't require it in the recipe, I just felt like it made the chocolate chips go a longer way. But then you're just gonna dip your shortbread in there. So you can just do like the top of the shortbread, or you can do the whole thing. And then you're just gonna let those harden in the fridge and voila, you are done. This is what they look like. And I took a bite in the middle one just so I could show you guys. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Go check out Emma's video to see what she eats in a day. And if you are coming over from Emma's channel, let me know in the comments down below. I love to like see new faces and talk to you guys. Leia Tani, so sorry, that's probably not how you say your name, says this totally helped me, thanks. I 
always see you commenting on my videos, so I just want to say thank you for supporting me. Shout out to Maribel Diaz. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'm glad that you liked the makeup idea. And lastly, Isabella Mori says, where's that hanging basket kind of thing from that has all the books in it? It's really cool. So she's actually talking about this rack, and if I do see it on Marshalls, I will have it linked down below. All right, you guys, that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have Emma's channel and Emma's video linked down below. Seriously, go check it out. Have an awesome day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.